for a moment while I tell you a story about something great, something that God has done in my life. I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Grew up in the inner city. Lived a horrible, sinful life up into my teenage years. One day, some men came by inviting me to church. I went by. I told them I wasn't. I, I might come. Some things happened. Several invites later, I went, went to that church. When I went there, the man who got up to preach, he opened his Bible and he told me that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He told me that there is none righteous. No, not one. He told me that the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 8 and 9 and verse 10 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Then he told me about a story of a man who came 2,000 years ago and how God loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He told me how the Bible says to repent and believe the Gospel. And that day I knelt there, bowed my head, cried out to God over my sin, and asked Him to save my soul. That day I turned to Christ. And by His power and the work that He did on the cross, He saved me. Tonight the question is, what is your life? The Bible says it is even a vapor. It appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Life is short, friends. Think about what happens afterwards. You can spend eternity in heaven. You do not have to spend eternity in hell. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But God does not want you to have to pay for that death. Jesus came and He died so that you didn't have to. He died and He paid the penalty for your sin on the cross. Trust in Him today. Turn and trust in Him. In Revelation chapter 20, verse number 11, the Bible says, And I saw a great white throne, and Him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in them. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. My friends, tonight, you can have your name written in the book of life. Consider that there will be an eternal fire and there will be eternal judgment. But you do not have to go there. God sent His only Son to die on the cross for our sins. If you'll simply repent, turn to Christ, and trust in His works, he will save you. Notice in that passage, it said that they would be judged according to their works. Also notice that they were all cast into the lake of fire. If you are judged in that day according to your works, you will be cast into the lake of fire. The Bible says that there is none righteous. And the Bible says that there that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That day, before the great and white throne of a holy God, all will give account if you stand there in your own works. 
you will be found wanting. But if you stand there clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, you will be born again. You will be accepted. Trust in Him tonight. Turn. Repent and believe the Gospel that Jesus came, lived a sinless life, died on the cross for your sins and for my sins. He was buried. And He rose again the third day, conquering sin, death, and the grave. Consider your life, my friends, and trust in Christ before it is too late. 